Good day everyone, so today I'm going to discuss about the types of test score interpretation. According to Merens and Lehman, 1985, a frame of reference is some well-defined performance domain, which means that a, sen a set of standard or a rule is necessary to make for the test score to make sense in judging whether the student failed or passed the exam. Scores and marks may be explained in relation to a norm or criterion. So the uh, test scores interpretation have two different types, which is the norm reference interpretation and the criterion reference referenced interpretation. These references were conceived and differentiated by American psychologist Robert Glaser in 1963. I just want to remind you all that the norm and the criterion reference interpretation interpretation uh, measures the measures hinges on the purpose of assessment. Okay. I will give you an example of what is norm reference interpretation and criterion reference interpretation by giving you an example. Okay, our first example. When assessing driving skills, the student's driver's performance is checked against a set of criteria, rendering the judgment whether he fails or passed, passed is criterion reference. Did you get it? So that is how a criterion reference interpretation works. Okay, another example. In selecting top students who will participate in an inter-school science test is necessary. Is necessary. Selection is made based on norm reference interpretation. Did you get the def the difference between the criterion crit reference interpretation and the norm? reference interpretation okay okay now we will dig further on the norm reference interpretation what is norm reference interpretation okay so the word norm comes from the latin word norma which means which means precept or rule by definition it pertains to the average score in a test apart from school norms uh, school average norm rather there are other types of norms that can be reported like international national and local norm groups and special norm groups Norm reference interpretations are explanations of a learner's performance in comparison with other learners of the same age or gender. The learner's knowledge is gauged in terms of his or her position in the norm group. One thing about one thing important about norm referenced interpretation is the use of standard scores and percentile ra. To say that a child plays 8 in a reading class is an example of a norm referenced interpretation. Did you get it? Okay, so let's proceed. Now I will give you another example of norm reference interpretation using percentile rank by saying that a child's score in a reading assessment is at the 85th percentile, which means that that the child scored better than the 85% of the students who took the, the same assessment. Did you get it? Okay, so that is how um, percentile rank works in norm reference interpretation. Campbell in 1995 cautioned interpreters that Percentile units are not necessarily equal in size and it is of critical importance that the norms be developed using a comparable cohort of students. So that's it. As pointed out, norm referenced evaluation determines the learners placed or ranked in a class or in any group. 
Moving forward, according to Kubizin and Borek in 2010, a norm reference assessment tends to be general as it covers a wide scope of content measuring a variety of skills because there are several objectives covered and only one or two items are sampled for each learning objectives. Did you get it? Okay, so... To generalize the purpose of the norm referenced measure is to discriminate high and low achieve achievers rather in a class. So that is the purpose of a norm reference interpretation. Test dot results to normal reference interpretation often used selected response format based on in, uh, on the national education standard. That's it. Nitko and Brockhart in 2011 stated five guidelines when interpreting norm reference test scores. The first one is detect any unexpected guidelines, which means to look out for unusual, especially extreme scores. If a student's test score does not seem to corroborate teacher's observation of student performance, then the teacher should reflect on his or her instruction. The second one is to determine determine the reasons for score patterns. There is a reason why a learner is underperforming in one or more more subject subject. The students may have learning disabilities or problems on motivation. The third one is do not expect surprises for every student. The teacher must know how each student is performing in his or her own class, of course. The fourth one is small differences in subtest scores should be viewed as chance fluctuation. Differences in te test scores may or may not be statistically significant to call for instructional intervention. And then the last one is use information from, from various assessments and observation to explain performance on other assessment. It would not be shocking to learn that a student with poor writing skills in English and Filipino would, it, would obtain a low score on the essay portion of a test. So that's it. And this is the end of my report about the norm reference interpretation and the other type of uh, test interpretation, test score the other type of test score interpretation will be discussed by Miss Rolla. That's it. Thank you for listening. God bless.